Roadman Seth. Yo, it's the dragon. It's your girl Heather. It's your boy Jason Barksdale, formerly known as JRE. I'm Ezra Jordan, and you're listening to the Cool Table. And you are listening to the Cool Table Live. What's up? In- it's me, Alfie. You're listening to the Cool Table with Adriel Smiley. Now in the cut with Adriel Smiley. Mm-hmm. In the cut with Adriel Smiley, you know what it do. So You're in the cut with my boy Adriel Smiley. You heard me? And uh, I'm not sure if you know this, but right now you're in the cut with my man, Adriel Smiley. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Welcome to the cool table. We're in the cut with the boys from Nuance. Can I get a year? Yeah. Now, this might be the first time everyone's actually going to finish their ice cream before the interview's done. I'm starting from the left. Tell us, you know, your name and then why is the ice cream that you chose? I'm Louis F. Uh, I got a cookies and cream, John. I don't know, this is from when I've been young, it's always been a cookies and cream, John. Stuff. Okay, Quincy owns, owner of own nut, you know what I mean? Vanilla, OG sh**, you know what I mean? Just gotta keep it original sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Too much flavor, get lost in the sauce. Uh, I, I, so I, I, I'm gonna need a better answer than that. Honestly, like... <laughs> Yo, you try to cut with some smooth stuff, are you but, right? No, but no, no one's ever chosen vanilla, like, I'm not gonna lie, like... You can't, you, you don't have a right to choose vanilla. I just, at this, for this show, like... You need you need some you need some OG guests on your show, man. It's original stuff, right? Yo, just how you playing, bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah that's, that, no, that, that's weak. That's I'm weak. I know. It's vanilla. Are you the man who goes to the ice cream shop and asks for a sample of vanilla? Nah, nah, nah. You know, nah, nah. I'm not. I'm not a vanilla connoisseur. You know what I'm saying? I like caramel, milk, chocolate. Okay, okay, okay. What? Okay. Okay. You know what I'm saying? You gotta just keep yeah, OG no, sometimes. No, 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 no. Go ahead. Go ahead. Ah, uh, yo, Remy. I chose. Mint chocolate, you know, it's been it's been a flavor that I messed with for a while, you know. Nobody else really likes it, so you know it's I don't have to worry about sharing. Yeah, yeah. Mint chocolate is an idiot. Hey man, sure more for me. Though, more for me, fam. <laughs> oh, yo, they call me Clutch. I don't feel you. Um, yeah, you can roll again or what? Nah, no, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> So yeah, I, I took the cookie and cream because I like vanilla and I like cookies, so it's just a good mixture of both. Okay, okay. Now, what my first question I really want to get to is, what's the first song y'all recorded together sounding like? That's what I want to know. Like, I is, it, is that a release? Was that the first? Or yeah. Knew. What's first? I always, a song called I Always Knew. It's not released. Um, I actually still have it on my computer and all that. That song, I don't know, I think it's fire. I'm about releasing it, finishing it, putting it out. I like my verse on that song. That song, I, I don't know. I'm yeah. with it, I'm with it. That was the first one, that was like a, that was a special one. Okay, like that one encompasses like really who we are. Like, it's really, I always knew we're gonna be the we're gonna, what we're gonna become who we are. Mm-hmm. So like, that's, you guys are gonna eventually hear that one. So, yeah. Yeah, that was the definitely come out real. Of and I said, who, who said it first? Was it someone first who was rapping and said, yo, rapping, rapping, or was it like a couple of you guys inside y'all chemistry? Like, how did it, cause I, I know y'all all been cool for a minute, but yeah. how did it come together where y'all said, let's do this music thing, like, put it together I think yo it was a mutual it was a mutual thing like yeah. it was one of those where it's like yo like yeah like I like okay I'll speak for myself like I I put out like songs on Facebook before not like anything like serious but like yo I was I was spitting from before I was the type of man where like even before people were putting the, the song lyrics for their caption like I'm putting my own lyrics in my caption okay, you know okay, what I mean? okay. but yeah, like yo, you can ask these guys. These guys been making tracks for a minute still. So. Oh yeah, yeah. some the chain, yeah. yeah. old Swing school it. rap. I'm doing everybody everybody dibbled and dabbled in some stuff. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we dibbled and dabbled. We went to the same elementary school. We dibbled and dabbled in high school. We all dibbled and dabbled. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But uh, to actually take you seriously though, we came to all together. Like nobody had to like coerce anyone or mm-hmm. convince anybody. We all came together. He said one day, yo, so let's do this. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You used to record in the basement at Xavier's place. Shout out to X. Yeah, shout out to X. What up? Yes. Yes, boys. Big shout out to X. Big shout out to X. Mm-hmm. Uh, Louis, there's a, a lot of the songs I hear you want first, or you have, you know, kind of the most of the voice signs. How does it come together where a song starts? Is it, does it usually start with you? Because on the outside, that's how it seems that you start with a song and you bring it to the group. Or who, I guess, who, who does that the most of them? Has like, a song idea, whether it's a beat or a flow. Oh, this is over here. And the yeah, just like, yeah, just like whatever. It just comes like, yo, I just came up with this, you guys mm-hmm. hear this. And then whatever. And then go yeah, who wants to jump on it? Jump on it. it jumps on it. Whatever. You know what I mean? It's, I mean, for it. Who, who's always the first jump on I know one of the Migos that said, Offset said a lot of times that 
he'll be in the booth before the beat's done the first time because he don't want to. He wants to make sure he got some every song. Who's who's the offset of the drink? Shout out to anything. Rappers gotta rap. Right. 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 And they, have you guys have heard each other's verses and been like, I'm gonna go redo mine, or I don't want my new verse to be after here. It's like, nah, cause like, I be thinking my shit about all the time. Mm-hmm. When I hear these guys' stuff, I just be like, that's cool. But this time, mm-hmm. like, I wanna say redo, but there's times like I know, like, yeah, I know that, correct. you know what I'm saying? That I, I, have, I have to come correct, or one of my guys got the better of me, but at the end of the day, it's, it's teams. It's, it's, mm-hmm. it's the team, you know what I'm saying? So okay. I'm not mad. I'm not mad at my team going better. Yeah, it's like, it's like Golden State. One day, like I'm KD, I might have a nice night, then Q might hit us with 52 points, 10 threes. Okay, okay, okay. Like, mm-hmm. I feel that, I feel that. Yeah. In all honesty, I want, I want to hear honest answers from everyone. When was there a time that you heard someone else's verse from in the group? And you're like, yeah, that's crazy. Like, what was the, I, either, either the song or the verse or whatever uh, yeah. it was that you heard like yeah, this someone guy, else's. This guy um, touched verse on, we have a track on the song called Belt. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, exactly. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. I, still, I listened to that today yeah, and I'll be yeah, like, yeah. I'll be in the car driving. That's how I was back in. on the table. <laughs> <laughs> that's how I was in my rapper bag. Oh like, man. Yeah. Oh, but, <laughs> but, <laughs> you said rapper bag, like, I know you use the auto tune, but to me when I hear you, I don't feel like it's like a different bag. I feel like you're, you choose to use auto tune even more sometimes, but mm. to me, I feel like you're always rapping. What, how is it different to you that you say rapper bag and not rapper bag? When I rap, I'm more aggressive, like you can feel the, you feel the energy. Okay, so the, the aggressiveness is where you say the rap. It's a different type of animal. When I'm on that auto-tune stuff, I'm trying to get sexy for the ladies type thing. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay. I'm like that, but it's perfectly smooth. <laughs> I mean, it's working for you right now. Huh? It's working for you right now. Come on, B. I don't know. It's <laughs> don't talk, but like when I'm in the auto-tune bag, I try to make it more smooth, you know, mm-hmm. not rough around the edges type thing. Is there any group that you guys look to as like similar to you guys anyway? Because I, I I always think about when I think of you guys. Like I can't you know put my name on a, a group or even one artist that kind of reminds me of you guys. You guys are sure a blend of like a lot of the new sound, but I I really can't think of, of a group that I would say like. Nah, I think we're one we're one in the million. Yeah, you can't really pinpoint yeah. anything. Like there's not a, a clear comparison to anybody mm-hmm. in any beat because like even like with the the each individual style yeah. in the group, like there's no. There's no group where I feel like it's the, that they have interchangeable styles like that. Usually they yeah. also have the same. More similar, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So like taking, like, yeah. you gotta take in the tracks and we're all on it. The, mm-hmm. the vibe. But that, oh, that, that's what makes you think that. The fact they're all on it, it's really like, like a posse cut. Like it's like a posse cut where it's like, you know those old school remixes where Wayne used to come in and it's Wayne yeah. and T.I. Yeah. and whoever. Yeah. And it's like, for the 16, it's like everyone's on song. That's just like for you guys. Like, everyone's in their own everyone's bag. Everyone's yeah, everyone's in their own yeah. bag, doing their own thing. So that's like something you don't usually get in groups. Yo, every yeah. track, every time we all the track together, it's crazy. Yeah. It's crazy. I've been taking it in, I'm like, yo, this is us? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> it can't be. I feel like all of us individually, like, I mean, every rapper, especially growing up, like, you know, we're all 93 babies, you feel me? So, like, the time and era that we grew up in, we all like a lot of the same things, but then we also have differences that we, like, cling yeah. to even heavier, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, I feel like all of that combined, it works. Megatron. Okay. Megatron. 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 I won't say it's like solo stuff, but stuff that that's gonna be more away from. I know you've done some features, but for like the rest of you guys, do you guys have any plans of you know doing more stuff where it's like mm. away away from the group, more on your own, or that's like too, that's too far of the future? Well, like, uh, I'm trying to do a tape. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. We're, yeah. we're working as we're working <laughs> as a group, and we're pushing the machine forward. Yeah, but it's gonna like it's gonna cycle because everyone has their own artistry that they want to bring. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So like, but the crazy, just, you may see you may see one person vibing more, vibing more from what's released, okay. but then you also don't know what's in the top. That's the same. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. So okay. everyone is working on their artistry and having their own ideas as well as coming through as a group. But yeah. But yo, the crazy part is all my shit have all these guys on the exactly. feature. So yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But it's not going to be all of us. It might be me and Remy on the track, me and Q, mm-hmm. me and Lou, some people so on the whole side. That's for the product. Yeah, yeah that's, I guess that's, what I, on it, man. that's what I feel with you guys stuff. Because you guys, like, two tapes in a year. 
and it's like to me it doesn't like I don't feel like it's oversaturated. I feel like it could eat like I could easily be cool with another tape in December if y'all want to see, you know? Like, yeah, no, you know, so yeah. like they don't know, you got the lowest you got, like it's getting better too. That's thing. So when you guys see you guys stuff in the bag, it's like you know, to me, that's obvious. Like, it's crazy. You guys are just like kind of playing with the game, almost like. Like some of the tracks people be jamming to, those tracks are like years old. It was just like, damn, we we're ahead yeah. of our time with this, right? Now. A lot of the, yeah, a lot of this stuff is out. Like we're listening to, like, we're riding around in the car listening to the new stuff and stuff mm-hmm. like that. Yeah. We still have cooking up. We're not even yeah. cooking up. Some of them, most a lot of them is done. Mm-hmm. So like, it's always a process. We could we could drop for a year straight. Let's just say that. Like Steve Harvey got it in the stash. We're to bag. Real life, bro. Real life. Relax, don't hurry with that. Relax. <laughs> too early, too early for all that. Miami, that's my favorite song from you guys. Now, what does it take for us to get kind of more of that vibe? That seemed like it was kind of a step away from what you guys usually do, but it did, like, didn't seem like it was a stretch, like it was hard. Oh, it seemed me like and Louis got some like, cooking up like that. Okay, Let's believe that. Like, oh, like, oh, we got some. Yo, Ooh. That's a thing, like, that's a banger. Like, 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 yo, this like, 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 <laughs> it just takes patience at this point because we just game, like, man. yeah, like as they, as yeah. I said, we got a lot of stuff in the stats. Got a lot of stuff as time comes, like we're, I feel like now, like right now, when we realize how much stuff we have, mm-hmm. so it's like we're trying to get more stuff out before they get too old. Yeah, yeah no, I feel that. So like, that's, that, like, that's, that. that's that's the process right now. I'm too. You know what I'm saying. So that's the process we're trying to go, we're all like, kind of going through right now. So like, yeah, like, I'll do, like you'll, you guys will start to see like a lot more stuff that coming out like more often. Like that. How do you guys decide though? Because so you guys have been saying like, y'all this endless bag of like all the different stuff. How do you how do you decide it right? These are the seven that are gonna be for this tape. Like these are eight gonna be for this tape. Because y'all could you know decide to drop three tapes at once and make it thing. How do you guys strategically decide between the four of y'all? I think personally, like we just make tracks. And whatever track you have done in that time span, it's like, guys, oh, it's for the tape together with that. And then we just continue. So it's more, it's more time thing rather than like... It's time, it's a combination of, of a lot of things, like when you think about it. Cause like, yo, there, there's songs that we make, like we might be in like a specific vibe for like two or three tracks, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? And then like those tracks, it's like, yo, you almost can't hear them like not like right after one okay, letter, okay, you know, okay. in sequence. So like, it really depends on like the energy that we're on or the vibe that we're on, like mm-hmm. for real, for real. And we do actually, cause speaking of the stuff we have in the stash, we do have conceptual stuff coming, like more sniper pinpointed projects coming. Okay, okay. You know I mean? So like, sometimes it's a vibe, sometimes it's timing, sometimes, and sometimes it's gonna, well, you guys are gonna see that it's gonna be conceptual. Yeah, okay. okay. So I guess what you're saying right now it's time, but you do have stuff planned for the mm-hmm. future where... Mm-hmm. Definitely, definitely, okay. definitely. Um, I say, you guys have to have you know two tapes out this year. You guys have the tape before. Personally, what do you guys think as a group? Because when I when I hear the stuff that, that you guys recently dropped compared to the early stuff, I feel like it's a lot more bars. Like this lyrical, even even though it's like it's not like, it's not like you guys were rapping before, but I feel like it's more powerful. Is what I'll okay. say. Like okay. when when uh-huh. when when you guys come out to that, the first like two lines is just like you know, way stronger than. Hey guys, are before. Do you do you guys feel that growth? Or you guys are so in it, you're just like you're improving every day that you don't you can't really see the the incremental improvement. No, I could agree. I could agree with that one. But I I could attest that my songwriting has gotten better, mm-hmm. like very like a thousand percent, like, mm-hmm. like to the point where wrapping up a verse, making it correlate with the hook. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So like mm-hmm. kind of like when you like when you're about to sing like the last four bars of the verse, and mm-hmm. it, it goes with, like it makes sense with what the first four words of the hook are. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And also like yeah. I guess it's like, yeah, songwriting is better. I feel like definitely when they, I feel like songwriting is the best word. When you say bars, like me, I'm arrogant. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I've been spitting. Yeah. So like, my my bars are necessarily, I wouldn't say my bars is necessarily better now. I think more, more, more structure. The structure flow, and, and vocal delivery. I think it's more vocal delivery than bars. Yeah, exactly. Because yeah. 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 I tell you guys, yeah. I must say you guys didn't have bars. That's like, mm-hmm. I noticed that from, from the beginning. Like that was the first thing I noticed mm-hmm. that like, even I'm saying when you were saying you're in your rap bag, like yeah. even when you're even more on your like, you know, oh, same song yeah. stuff, it's like you're still mm-hmm. coming with yeah. coming, you're still spitting. So try, it's like it's more the deli- it's more yeah. the deli- it's more the delivery where it's like yeah, 100% of you. It's right. not it's not like it's not like it's not as low key anymore. Before I could be like, you know, y'all gotta really listen and see that you guys yeah, are yeah. now it's not yeah, as yeah. low key. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You got like a conscious effort, like right, all you got to kind of bring that forward is just something that 
Facts. Yeah, bro. Like, happen. yo, Facts. like, like Quincy and and Lou were saying, like, yo, it's it's structure. Like that. That's something that we've all been working on. Mm-hmm. So if anything, that's probably what is is really jumping out because the bars are always gonna be there, like no matter what. But now it's just like the placement yeah. of the bars. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? yeah. Like, like we know we know where where the soft spot for the people that are actually checking for lyrics are. Like, you mm-hmm. know what I mean? So mm-hmm. we know how to set it up and we deliver. Not that shit. Apart. Okay. Okay. So last but not least. Just tell me what's kind of your the artists that each individual you guys are all looking at. That's like right now they're doing something crazy that you know creatively you're like when they drop something or when they are something you're like what are they even on right now? The first thing I'll say like for me probably Brent Fayez right now like the way he's putting words together, the way he's making music. I'm just like you know what what drugs is he doing right now? <laughs> like mm-hmm. you know what kind of, what kind of vibe is he? What's his yeah. what's it looking like? So who's that guy for you guys all personally? Who, you hear that? It could be even even more than person or group, but who's the person you look to musically that you're just like, you know, once I'm on their level, that's what I know, man. Like, okay. Oh, that's a hard that's a difficult question. Yeah. Still, if you put it like that, if I'm, yeah, I'm like picky like, with my yeah. people, like you could say like, mm-hmm. from the past word, but who are? Yeah, that, that's just someone else. Someone, like, there's someone in general who like you look at them and it's like, not not about how big they are, or whatever. Just creatively, the music that they're making. You could always test that that's like the high quality of music that you want to get to. Uh, for me, I'll say Tory Lanez. Because like mm-hmm. the way he puts his music together, he sonically sounds good. Mm-hmm. He has a couple bars in there, but it's really just him sounding good. It, mm-hmm. He sounds good that you're not even paying attention to the bars. Mm-hmm. That's fair, that's fair. Mm-hmm. Go ahead, bro. Like for me, I, I would say like, if I was to say somebody right now who I look to, I look, I look at like a Jay Chris, like mm. he's every time. Hey, yeah, 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 like every time you put someone, it's like yo, this guy's nice. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Guy's every nice. consistency. Yeah, 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 like yo, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say Styles P because like yo, this guy just came out with the tape with uh, or the album with Dave East and like yo, like he's he's been rapping for how long now mm-hmm. and he's still dropping like consistently. Yeah, like I can't I can't really think about like a time where he didn't drop. Like he's always been dropping, always been dropping. You know yeah. what I mean? Never stopped. Or even like somebody like a better answer or another answer. I would say Currency because Currency is another one of those guys where it's like yo, like he hasn't missed a beat. Mm-hmm. Like. Mm-hmm. When you go through his catalog, it's just like, yo, like, even the old stuff, it's like, yo, like, it takes you back to a time. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's just like, yo, he's, he was nice then, he's nice now. No, so. like, I think, sorry, go ahead, go ahead, before I uh, See, for the OG thing, like, like, when you ask the question, I'm thinking Pusha T, not because of the recent, whatever's yeah. going on. Like, I've been, like, I've been a super fan of Pusha T ever since he came out on that stage mm-hmm. from a runaway with Kanye. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And even before that, that's when I was leaving them. But if I'm gonna do it as terms of a question, like to, I would say like Partisan Fontaine. Because when I look at him, like that's like a like his career trajectory to me mm-hmm. is the most beautiful thing. And I've always liked his music, but I really like what he's doing. Right now. I think the kind of the theme that you guys are all get to is consistency, mm-hmm. and I and like I like that. That kind of just like you know I don't know if you guys like have ever someone asked you this before, but. I like that you guys all got together on consistency. That's kind of what makes like a big artist or makes a good, a really? a good artist. You know, mm-hmm. it's like something like Pusha. You're talking about. It's like Pusha. You know, is going to be consistent from you whatever album you hear in 2013 mm-hmm. to album I hear in 2018. Yeah. And that's like I could. That's the thing I see with you guys so well. Like, that's like happening here for myself personally. That you guys, no one said anything like oh, I like him because he has cool pants or something like that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like everyone put consistency forward. So yeah, yeah man. Yeah. Just focus yeah. on. Thank you guys for joining the cool table. Thank everyone for listening. Know yourself. Cool table, we check the, the building.